Today, we are going to look at a body vis brain builder about anatomical movements. Anatomical movements are the act of moving bodily structures or changing the position in one or more of the joints of the body. Through contraction and relaxation, muscles produce movements at the joints that can be described clearly using anatomical movement terminology. Let's look at six common pairs of anatomical movements and their antagonist movements. Flexion and extension. These movements occur in the sagittal plane of the body. Flexion focuses on decreasing the angle between two bones or two parts of the body. Extension focuses on increasing the angle between two bones or two parts of the body. An example of this movement would be performing a bicep curl. When your forearm moves closer to your arm, the angle is decreasing at the elbow joint, making this a flexion movement. When the forearm lowers away from the arm and returns back to an anatomical position, this is an example of extension as the angle in the elbow joint is increasing. Abduction and adduction. These movements occur in the frontal plane of the body. Abduction focuses on moving a limb away from the midline of the body, also known as moving laterally. Adduction focuses on moving a limb towards the midline of the body, also known as medially. An example of this movement is when someone is performing jumping jacks. When they are standing in the X position of a jumping jack with their arms out and their legs apart, they are demonstrating abduction with both their arms and legs. When their arms return back to the sides of their body and the legs return back to being side by side, they've demonstrated adduction. Pronation and supination. These movements occur in the transverse or horizontal plane of the body. Pronation is the rotation of the forearm medially so that the palm of the hand is facing downwards. Supination is rotating the forearm outwards laterally so that the palm of the hand is facing upwards plantar flexion, and dorsiflexion. These movements occur in the sagittal plane of the body. Plantar flexion is pushing or pointing the toes and ball of the foot downwards towards the ground, like when you were standing on your tiptoes. Dorsiflexion is standing on the heel of your foot and pointing the toes upward towards the sky. Inversion and eversion. These movements occur in the frontal plane and occur at the ankle joint referring to the rotation of the foot. Inversion is moving the foot to turn the sole inwards or medially. Eversion is moving the foot to turn the sole outwards or laterally. Protraction and retraction. These movements occur in the sagittal plane. Protraction is moving a body part forwards or anteriorly. Retraction is moving a body part backwards or posteriorly. An example of this movement is when you throw a ball or push against something with your arms. This would be protraction of the scapula. When you bring your shoulder blades or scapulas together or roll your shoulder blades back, you are practicing retracting of the scapulas. Becoming familiar with these terms is important in understanding and learning about the movements of the body. Understanding these movements helps you understand the complexity and coordination of the muscles of the body to help move the bones of the skeletal system. Next, let's look at an example of applying our knowledge about these anatomical movements with an example of a basketball game and some of the actions athletes perform. When a player dribbles a ball, they are performing flexion and extension of their elbow. This player is also using abduction with his opposite arm to keep the defensive player away. When shooting a basket, a player is performing protraction at the scapula flexion at the elbow, and flexion and extension at the wrist to guide the ball towards the hoop. Most athletic movements are a combination of many of these movements we have discussed today. These are just a few examples of some anatomical movements used to play basketball. Did you find this video useful? Consider checking out BodyViz 3D Anatomy Solutions. We have anatomy resources for instructors and students, including pre-made modules and quizzes, videos, patient case studies, real patient virtual dissections, and more. Go to bodyviz.com to schedule a demo today.